Dunlop Tyres are proud sponsors of the BTCC. Brilliant start by the two Hondas. Brilliant start by Matt Jackson. He's got a great drive as they charge down to turn one for the first time of 16. And Matt Jackson goes from fourth to second position immediately. Plato looks extremely comfortable at the front, you know, barring uh, any mechanical problems. Have gone into the gravel. Aaron Smith is going to try and keep the wheel spinning. Will he just about get to the service road to the edge? No, he hasn't. Jeff Smith has managed to keep it going. And this is the battle between Rob Austin and Matt Neal. And Matt Neal and Rob Austin come into contact, and Austin goes round. Matt Neal gets it on full opposite lock. Plato's done exactly what we thought, got a good start, avoided any kind of instant the first corner and just gradually pulled away and looked after the car. I, I strongly suspect, if, even with the weight, if he can make a good start in race two, if it's dry, which is a big if, he could do the same again. And Jason Plato takes his fourth victory of the 2012 British Touring Car Championship season. Brilliant start once more from Andrew Jordan. Rocket start from Rob Collar, who's going round the outside. Will he make that stick? That's going to be a tremendous start. I think Matt Jackson has gone off as well on the Ford Focus. He's hit one of the uh, advertising banners. Drama indeed. The big slide by Jason Plato. And that gives the opportunity for Matt Neal to close up on his arch rival. Has Plato got the inside line of this contact? And Matt Neal is on full lock, and he loses a position now to Matt Jackson. Oh, the Rockingham battle between Neal and Plato continues in 2012. And even in the wet, Tim, you're doing well over 110 miles an hour on the approach to oh, this left-hander. Just touched the wall. Did you see that just before he turned in? Ah, I mean, what commitment as the driver who has taken the most victories this season. Gordon Shedden wins his seventh race of 2012. Good start from Morgan, not a great start from Ollie Jackson. Brilliant start from Aaron Smith in the light and nimble forward focus. Drama indeed, the medical crews tending to Jeff Smith, and as you say, Tim, the wind taken out of you, and the adrenaline then surges through your veins as all of your senses are brought out to more than 100%. He's got a good restart, hasn't he? Smith comes over the line. That's a good dozen car lengths he's got ahead. Class comes to the top, doesn't it? Especially on a circuit like this where you can overtake and in conditions where experience and feel and skill make up so much of it, they have come to the fore in uh, the first three positions. That is now Gordon Shedden's eighth victory in this year's title chase and he takes the championship lead with two more weekends remaining. Gordon Shedden, uh, current leader of the British Touring Car Championship, going into the final two meetings, of course the next one at Silverstone is one of those places that always throws up some uh, uncertainty in terms of how cars are going to go. What's your thoughts on how you think things are going to look for that? I, I think we're going to have a real tough weekend at Silverstone. I think the, you know, the way the boost levels are, Silverstone's only four straights and kind of four corners. I think we'll be in, a, in for a real tough weekend uh, if it's dry. But if we get weather like this, you know, the rain from Rockingham, then who knows? But I'm expecting a tough weekend at Silverstone. We'll try and score as and when we can. And, you know, we've pulled some rabbits out of the bag as a team so far this year. So, so who knows if there's something we can, uh, you know, we can do in a couple of weeks' time. Well, already you've got eight wins under your belt at this season. Obviously, you've put yourself in a position where clearly in terms of pure pace, it looks like you've got the best package overall. Um, but... Um, are you more looking at Jason or are you more looking at Matt or is it still so wide open you just can't say? Uh, I mean, both are, uh, you know, so close. I mean, I thought well, there can only be two or three points in it between me and Matt. So, and we've both got the same car. So we're going to keep on scoring, you know, very, very closely all the way through, you know. And Jason, you know, I mean, I mean the pace he had in the dry was, uh, yeah, was, was, was mind-boggling, you know. Um, so he'll be a factor without any shadow of a doubt at Silverstone. You can see, how, you know, a couple of wins all of a sudden gives you quite a, you know, you know quite a nice kind of haul of points. But I've got to try and hang on to their coattails and, uh, and do the best job I can. And of course, the final race weekend of the year is the Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit. I know it's a track that just about everybody relishes. Uh, I think that, that's really where we're going to see perhaps uh, exactly who's got the best package overall for the year. It kind of sums it all up nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you've got a mix of all sorts in there. You know, hopefully there's enough corners that will keep us in the hunt. But, you know, 
big massive uphill section going off the national circuit onto the GP circuit, that'll really hurt us. But, you know, if we can go to the last round with a chance of winning, that's what it's all about. The most important thing we've said all along is that we got Honda across the line first. And, uh, you know, at this stage anyway, both of us are right up there fighting at the sharp end. We'll keep working together and, uh, and see if it all, come, all comes good in the end. Well, there seems to be still a wonderful team spirit between the two of you. So I'm sure whatever happens, it's going to be uh, very, very close, very exciting stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's it, you know, I mean, Matt, Matt's race with a broken hand are rocking him, and he's still, uh, he's still right there. So, uh, you know, it, it's going to be tough, but, uh, you know, certainly looking forward to it. Thanks, Gordon. Thank you. Catch all the action from BTCC at Silverstone on Saturday the 6th of October for qualifying live on itv.com forward slash touring cars and Sunday 7th of October on ITV4 and ITV4 HD at 11am. And for tickets, please visit silverstone .co.uk. Dunlop Tyres are proud sponsors of the BTCC.